also, uh, two things. I think I just witnessed a robbery. I made eye contact with the guy the whole time, so maybe it was just his car and he's being weird. I don't know. But uh, the other thing, we're not going to worry about that. I bought a keychain and it's a slinky shaped like a star and it says the best thing ever. Does anyone else just get in the mood to fucking learn just not exactly what your school wants you to? Like, for example, I cannot fucking tell you what's going on in stats, but I can tell you that the throne the Pope sits on is part of the UN, but the Vatican City is not. And also, the Vatican City is one of the last remaining absolute monarchies, one of six, in fact, and it's the only monarchy where the king is elected, and it's non-hereditary. Um, also, I really need help with my stats. My guilty pleasure, except I feel no guilt at all. I like interrupting men in the middle of their sentences and then explaining really basic topics to them and then every time they call me out on interrupting them i gaslight them about it also moving through a crowd of men and putting your hand unnecessarily low on their backs is just i didn't murder anyone so it's really just a white crew neck from the museum of ice cream in san francisco boom there it is and they're just little flowers they're mostly made up of like chain stitches like these are just a bunch of chain stitches these are uh, like tulip stitches and a bunch of French knots. And then that I think is a Cretan leaf stitch. Here I did like a blanket stitch here. It's not very good. It's kind of messy. And then a rose. And then this is an eyelet wheel stitch, but I kind of mess it up. So it shouldn't like go in like that. It should just be a normal circle. The back is actually lined up to like the shot on the front. And it's just a rose and a leaf and some other stuff. The sleeve is made up of the same stitches. That's a blanket stitch. And then all this floral stuff. You can't buy it anywhere. I'm not doing any commissions because it took me way too long. But if you just Google the stitches, then you can do it yourself. I have two younger sisters that made the same dumb fucking tattoo mistake. So Melanie, who is 18, was at college last year. And while she got drunk one night, she thought it would be a good idea to trade a six-pack of beer to a dude who would give her a stick-and-poke tattoo. So she did it, a little heart on her ass, and she sent it to mom. And like, oh, I got a tattoo. Mom freaked out. Mel was like, huh, jokes. It's just a stick-and-poke. It's not permanent. Mom shows me the picture as a joke the next morning, and I'm like, mm, stick and pokes are permanent. That's the point of a stick and poke, to be permanent. Mom and Melanie freak out, and she realizes that, yes, she did, in fact, get a permanent fucking tattoo of a heart on her ass. Jump to about a year later. It's quarantine. Julie comes into my room one night, my younger sister. Says, yo, I have something funny to show you. I'm like, ah. She pulls her pants down, and I see in cursive bite me on her ass. I'm like, what the fuck is that, like, Sharpie? Like, why is it so red? She's like, ah, I got a buddy of mine to do it for me as a joke. It's just, like, fake. I'm gonna show it to mom. And I look at her, I'm like, stick and poke, right? She's like, yeah, stick and poke, why? And I just, I just sigh. I just sigh. This is gonna be me rating pictures. My sorority made me delete. To be fair, I was a freshman in this and I had no idea that was a brand of beer on my cup. But looking back, what's going on with my face? Um, I feel like they just pretended like it was because of the cup, but really, I just looked bad. And that's like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. So thank you, 13 out of 10. So obviously I couldn't post this because of the red cup, but I did this. And I sent this to the PR girl thinking that she would appreciate the inside scoop. Um, she left me on red. And everyone just pretended like they didn't see it. 12 out of 10. I was a junior in this and I thought I was so funny for editing a Starbucks logo onto my cup. But no one else thought it was funny. And that's kind of when I realized that my passion was for making sure my followers knew that I was drinking. And it felt like my sorority was getting in the way of that passion. So I dropped um, 11 out of 10. Why did nobody tell me that there was adult fantasy books? That came out wrong. Why did nobody say that there was more mature fantasy to read? That's not better. There are Harry Potter books written for people in their 20s and 30s just trying to escape their stressy, messy, and depressy existences. Yeah, that works. Oh wow, look at my butt. Now that I have your attention, I have something very important to ask you. Notice anything missing? Pockets. Pockets. Where are my pockets? When did we lose the right to pockets? When were we deemed unworthy for pockets? Oh, I'm going to put my lipstick in my pocket. Nope. Thank God I have pockets for my lavender spray. Nope. So glad I can hold my kettle in my pockets. Nope. My dying plant? Nope. I mean, what's next? We lose our reproductive rights? <laughs> Everybody has that one thing in their house that everybody thinks is so cool. Could be a hidden cabinet, little movie room, gadget, but ours is this. Okay, if you're hooking up with someone and you see that they have self-harm scars on like their thighs or like their belly or something, 
um, before you jump straight into a Wattpad fan fiction and decide to like kiss every single one of them and give a speech about how you think that makes them a fighter, etc., etc., ask first. I'm begging you, ask please. <laughs> because this one guy did that to me and I could tell he thought he was being like really supportive and like a great like mental illness ally or whatever. <laughs> but I was so uncomfortable and after he left, I blocked him. <laughs> It's, it was so bad. Please, please ask first. I'm dying. So I have a question. How come us little people, because, you know, I have dwarfism, um, how come we're compared to gnomes all the time? When gnomes are like a foot tall, like a gnome would literally be at my knee. Like, no joke, a gnome would be at my knee. I could punt a gnome like how a normal person could punt me, okay? So I don't understand why we are related to those tall hat KKK looking motherfuckers. Let's see. Wow, are you serious? Is this how kings get treated nowadays? You gonna open the door for me or what? You're not gonna open the door for me? You're the one driving today, so why wouldn't you open the door for me like I open it for you? What? Yeah, you know what? It's 2020. I'm gonna start focusing on myself. No, you're not king. Let's go. Alright. You redeemed yourself. <laughs> Let's start a new trend where we list something sexist that our jobs have done. Okay, so I look like hot garbage right now, but I'm gonna do this anyway. When I was 17, I worked at an ice cream store and I would put the order away pretty often. So one day I was putting the order away and I had like this 20 pound uh, jug of like coconut oil because we popped our popcorn with it. Anyway, the owner comes down and she goes, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just putting the order away. She goes, no, 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 no. You let the boys do that. Ma'am, I am six feet tall. I am 200 pounds. I am built like a monster truck. You really think the 74 year old man with carpal tunnel syndrome or the 15 year old boy who the heaviest thing that boy's ever lifted is a PlayStation controller. You think they're gonna do better? I'm still mad about it. Hey, have you ever been disappointed by a man? Have you ever sat around and said, hmm, I wonder if he'll get better? If so, it looks like we have some things in common. Men are boring. They like things like football. What's a touchdown? I think it's code for something sexist. No, I thought that was like golf. Girl, they're all the same. What the fuck is football? I don't know. I don't fucking get it. They also like misogyny. Did you just call me a whore? No, I don't think you understand. I will step on your balls until they explode. Well, do I have the cure for you? Throw the whole man out. But Chrissy, isn't that problematic? <laughs> Shut up. So girls gaze in maze, this is my advice for you. 